hello everyone so today I am going to work on this kick flip for the skating system here is the preview so these animations are not perfect as I made it within Unreal but by modifying some other animations but uh, that would be enough for you to understand how to do it all right so Let's see how to do these parts. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support. You can also support my work in the Patreon. All right. So yeah, first uh, I should mention that I haven't even touched uh, actual skateboard in my real life so this may not turn out uh, realistic as you would expect but let's see what we can do so since we have used the third person character we already have this uh, jump in in the uh, character so I'm going to turn that into a kick flip so yeah let's see so actually for the kick flip also i'm going to use this in place jump in animation mm, all right let's see how it turns out mm, let's create an animation montage with this uh, let's call it kick flip montage so yeah if I had a proper animation maybe it would we would be able to make it cool but let's see what we can do with this jumping standard jumping animation okay so let's open our character This is our character. So let's see where we have the jump input. By default, it should have oh, right here. Jump and stop jumping. Jump and kick. Okay, so how do we implement this? Yeah, first let's go to our animation blueprint. I need to check something regarding the jumping part. Ah right actually we don't have any jump in transmissions uh, just like in the standard uh, animation blueprint so it's all right right now here let's play animation montage using this node play montage Use kick flip. Okay. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, and also because of the eye case, uh, uh, the foot tries to keep attached to the board. That's also wrong. So yeah, let's fix it one by one. First, let's go here. We need a way to disable foot IK. Oh, so we have 
this back foot alpha and we don't have a variable to control front foot alpha so let's go ahead and create one front foot alpha by default it should be one yeah so where do we change back foot alpha no. Uh, no I think we need a common multiplier for this so let's rename this to foot I K multiplier. So for the front foot, we don't have any place that we need to disable it uh, for now. So therefore, only front foot uh, foot I K multiplier would be enough for the alpha. For the back foot, we need a separately. We need to be able to control or disable the back foot I'll ik when required so therefore i'll multiply this with the foot ik multiplier okay now let's also have another boolean variable let's Keep it closer to this foot IK enabled. Oh, let's name it in the same way we have named this one. Mm -hmm. This one too. Okay, and that's not very important, but I just wanted to have them in the same way. Right. Uh, now, in this leg guy K part, let's set foot I K multiplier just like this we can lerp it so that uh, instead of uh, spontaneously disabling IK if I spontaneously do that then there's the foot will snap from the IK position to the normal position we don't need that so therefore with something like this with the lerping we can smoothly uh, make this one one or zero based on this condition if uh, so B B can be selected using this if I get enabled value we say one otherwise value is zero this value is for IK multiplier the current value of that one okay now we need animation events to enable and disable foot tyke so let's see do we have a no, we don't have an interface. Okay. Right here. Hmm. 
when we do this here let's add a notify uh, new notifier disable for ik right and after this point let's add another notifier enable for ik save right now we can implement those disable foot ik and enable foot ik now here i'll when i call disable i set this on false when i call enable i'll set this one true okay no yeah i have disconnected this jump for now and let's see how it looks okay it's just jumping on the board cool now uh -huh. let's see how it looks if I enable root motion or oh, maybe it won't work root motion because I'm not sure because we are not in the flying mode here let's just see yeah exactly it is not working but we can make it work but uh, let's uh, use a jump input for this so yeah how do we do this let me check again okay let's make the visibility of the capsule let's keep it visible so that we can see what's going on here see the capsule is staying in the same place all right now um, here let's add a montage notifier somewhere like here and on notify begin let's call jump that looks bad and also the speed blend in and blend out doesn't look smooth at all Uh, wait that doesn't look right let's remove this jumping and when we start this let's uh, set moment mode to flying and when we stop jumping no when the when this is completed let's set again moment mode to falling right and then let's enable root motion for this animation uh, 
and then let's see how it looks still it doesn't look okay I don't know why it keeps staggering okay let's forget about that approach right uh, let's reconnect jump here and here let's set uh, I set uh, the jump value let's try something like 400 Which node I connected? Ah, sorry. I should call jump. It kind of look okay, but still we some see some uh, snapping going on. Ah, right. So we have added this animation montage at the end. No, wait. Where is it? Okay, here. So, what's what causes it? All right, we need to use that IK multiplier for the bending effect as well, I guess. Right, so uh, for this. Uh, pelvis modification that we do to make the character bend forward uh, when it yeah here uh, here is the spine bending and here is pelvis modification to move up and down so for this part also let's use for ik multiplier so now i rename it instead of foot ik just my item ik multiplier because it's not not just for foot Maybe I should organize this a little bit. Bend forward. This is the, where the bending happens and this is where moving down. Uh, move down the get closer to earth where as we speed up. Oh, hip. Okay, now it should have smoothed out. Yeah, now the animation looks smooth. Okay, so also we need to do a slight modification because here. If I look at this and the front side legs are like this in this level let me keep my code like me sign as a reference so legs like this at this level but when I jump leg is Why did it move? It's on the ground. Okay, in a skateboarding, it's like this. In the jumping, it's like this. Let me get the reference back. Let's set change the location to same by moving up 
the root and add a keyframe apply right now it should be okay let's see let me put the sign back here yeah now it only moves on the skateboard okay now let's see how to rotate the board how to flip the board right so the next step is the board animation um, actually let's see do we have an animation here what's this okay yeah so when i import the board i do have some animation but it doesn't really have anything and also i it looks like it's a uh, small uh, right anyway let's uh, rotate it 90 degrees like this and what's the length of that one it's four seconds uh, now let's look at it in frames it's 135 frames okay so what's the jump in animation length it should ideally start like here uh, no, let's say 55 okay 57 all right so let's reduce 0 to 57 remove from 58 to 149 okay now let's just play this animation it doesn't really have anything at the moment let's rename this to kick flip and as we play the skateboard jump in animation let's play that animation to shall we create a mon no, just the animation kick flip okay see they scale down it so there is a problem with the scales all right when we import the skeletal mesh we have a import uniform scale 5 let's set it to the animation as well and re-import okay let's see right now scale problem is fixed but still it rotates why is that right let's drag and drop it here oh it's still rotated and also let's drag and drop this board also here right oh 
the frames are again here why it did not go away right now that problem is fixed so we need to move this up a little bit to match with the actual ground location okay did i apply yeah let's update it okay right now the animation is fixed now let's uh, try to implement the animation okay so let's try to create the animation this let's say the board should be somewhere like this now let's add a keyframe at the beginning first oh wait why does it rotate We already have a keyframe here. And somewhere here. Let's move it down. Alright, so that's the basic part. Now let's add rotations and other stuff. So I'm not an animator, so don't expect a very good looking animation here. I just, so I only want something basic. Oh, wait, let's check. That's very slow. Uh, but I'll do this offline Right, so I made progress with the moving up part. It looks okay now. Let's now we need to Take care of the flip part so this is the way the uh, vertical curve of this GEO Bone moment looks like so I'll do the rotation now off a screen because it takes a lot of time to make the animation. Right. Uh, so yeah. So just like I added keys, basic keys for the um, for the moment, I can do rotation of this too. If I look at this from the front. We can uh, rotate it like this. Right, so it's still no flipping, but I made it this far, like this. Uh, and when I play this, I get this weird effect. That's because I, I align the skate to the ground through the cord like this so that's the reason to 
this uh, this goes haywire when I jump so temporarily I disable it now it works all right so after fixing this animation let's move back and fix that part okay now I have to do the flipping part which I do in off screen okay and now I made some progress but still it doesn't look that good so especially because of the footwork I guess but I'm not sure what to do about that okay so I managed to do some editing for the board and now this is how it looks like so let's see how it looks like here still not good but better than nothing okay but still I feel like this uh, uh, moving down part is too slow so we but the gravity scale is one so what's the exact gravity value so yeah it should be defined in uh, not in plugins in project settings under physics yeah this is correct but anyway let's let's increase this gravity scale and see how it looks I think that's okay well <laughs> we don't do much of jumping in the with the capsule but that's all right for now so I'll hide the capsule okay so actually there should be uh, in order to flip the board there first uh, actually what happens is first uh, this with the back foot this board is popped up and then with the front foot it do some do some sliding so because of that it caused the rotation but those details are missing in the animation uh, because I don't have a proper kickflip animation but this is what I have so that's what I have to use okay and let's take a look back at this align skate part let me reconnect this because uh, Without that, my skate will not be aligned with the flow. But we can change this interpolation speed. For now, let's make this zero. Oh, that's bad. With 20. Oh, right. So let's. Add a boolean value here. What do we have is jumping. No. Right, let's add a new boolean variable. Jumping. So when we jump, let's not do this part. only if we are not jumping let's do this otherwise let's skip this part altogether ah we didn't set the jump variable anywhere let's set it here set jumping 
to true and when this is done uh, set jumping to true to false right let's try to do a kickflip while we are on an uneven ground oh that's bad oh no actually that's okay oh that's a problem All right, so I guess we need to enable it soon. So maybe where after let's check the length of this in seconds. one second at one second it's almost down so 1.1 okay so let's have a delay of 1.1 seconds and re-enable this foot alpha is not enabled yet why is that let's check and the animation blueprint Ah, oh, sorry, I disconnected this before. Okay, it should work now. Yeah. okay okay so i spent some more time refining the animation so here is the final version and yeah so i think that's enough for today All right, so let's stop here. And as always, thanks for watching. So the project files will be available for the download through the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon club. So see you in another episode. Goodbye.